Now, with free shaping, this is how we try and teach young puppies. That's it, right there, okay? I gave him no additional help, no additional cues, no additional support to go that direction. Just gave him time to think, and he thought, well, this worked last time, as well as it's kind of fun. Hey everybody, Ethan here with Standing Stone and we are ready for another trip training video. I believe this guy read the book. Um, we're gonna do something that's brand new, which is place training. We are utilizing a Kato board. Everything that we use and recommend you can find at standingstonesupply.com. And today will be the first session that we start to target this behavior. He's having fun, he's ready to rock and roll. And I want to point out that we haven't, if you're following along with any of his videos, we did sit work last time. We haven't magically finished sit work. We're just working on one thing per session. We're following along with our retriever training program, standingstonesupply.com slash courses, it's right there. But in the program, we talk about this time zone, he needs to work on multiple different obedience behaviors. We put emphasis on one behavior per training session, not necessarily let's master one before we move on to the next. This allows you to have variety as well as challenge his mind and build in all of the pieces that you need kind of at the same time. So what we're going to be doing, again, I mentioned before, I want to keep focus on my left side so I will give him rewards out of my left hand, which is the opposite. I've almost done this right-handed for years and years and years. And I see that it's actually causing an issue with him. So training myself as we go as well. I'm gonna eliminate this distraction. Da -da -da -da. He says, nah, I just beat you in there. Okay, and we're going to mark anytime he gets on the platform. Um, there's no actual, we try not to do too much helping. Um, if your dog's really struggling, you could lure them on, which would look kind of like this. And he just thinks this is fun, which is again, awesome. He was giving out the sitting behavior a lot. And here he's already doing the same thing with the place board. So we'll just continue to mark every time he gets on the board. And I want to pay attention. I, I want you to pay attention, excuse me. I'm using body language to help steer him essentially toward the platform. And ultimately our progression will be getting him comfortable going to the platform consistently, adding a cue, and then building distance in that. Can I send him without having to help? Can I send him from further distances? So if I stand over here, it's unlikely that he's gonna go back over there. But if I move with him, that's where he heads. So that's a prime example of how powerful the very subtle things that we can do with our body are. Now, with free shaping, this is how we try and teach young puppies. That's it, right there, okay? I gave him no additional help, no additional cues, no additional support to go that direction. Just gave him time to think, and he thought, well, this worked last time, as well as it's kind of fun. There he is. So wheat, dude. Trip, you are smart. Having your clicker ready. The, the timing is the most important part of the clicker training. And again, it marks and ends the behavior. You saw him jump on and then jump off. We'll fix the, the duration aspect of it later, him staying on the board. Little bit, I took that step and he started, got halfway there. Show him that's what we're working on right now. It's really good. We can feed him on the board as well. It's gonna help to build emphasis around our cause, which is the place board. And I will tell you, I have not added a cue to this because it's nowhere near consistent enough. The sitting was pretty consistent. This is nowhere near that. Um, so it'll take two to three sessions probably before we can start to introduce a cue. Good boy. Trip, you are a smart turd. If your dog is not looking exactly like little Trip here, 
and you need additional help or you're struggling with kind of getting through these training sessions, definitely don't hesitate to reach out to us. Patreon.com slash Standing Stone Kennels. That is our online dog training community. It is a guide basically to everything that we do um, via us directly. The most powerful tool that Kat and I have to offer or anyone here on the team has to offer is the ability to read dogs and dog training situations. Can't do that um, typically without being able to see what's happening. So you can set up there to send videos or even have us live in your training sessions saying, hey, maybe take a step towards your platform and that could be something that would be simple to help guide your puppy and help you to see some success and move in the right direction. Good boy. Eye contact, very focused. Good. We want a challenge. He's making this look fairly easy. I'm working through his morning meal here. Um, he's eating the Yukonuba Puppy Pro food. And this is just it. He's got to eat every day, folks. So let's take the, the five to 10 minutes and train him. If I continue to build distance here, we'll see kind of what the threshold is before he stops being able to make it that way to the bed. Or in this case, a platform. He says, man, you don't have enough room for me to not be able to figure this out. We'll clear back here in the corner. We see people do um, this a lot, like they point or something. A lot of times this type of thing puts more emphasis on us as well as it is another physical cue, whether it's moving in that direction, pointing, stepping, leaning, any kind of momentum type stuff can give the puppy some direction or influence what they're thinking or doing. So this is probably the zone, right? He's more focused here, not able really to figure out that he needs to go back over there in order to get rewarded. But you can see him trying, right? He's thinking. This is good. This is him thinking through the process. And when we utilize free shaping and training, it allows our dogs to essentially learn how to learn. If I try things, good boy. Um, if I try things, I may get rewarded and I may be able to uh, see what's happening. If you have a puppy whose brain is in that state of thinking things through, they're so much easier to teach things. Dogs that are taught via compulsion only or pushing only. So if I were to just put a leash on him and drag him over to the dog bed or the platform here, it would be, um, he may eventually figure it out, but he's not going to apply that learning to other types of learning. If we remove this platform, he's going to start trying things. Now we can, this is just training in general. He would start to try different things. He may jump on me. He may spin around in circles. He may run over and pounce off the wall. He's just gonna try and figure out what do I do to get that next reward. And you can use that to teach your dogs all kinds of cool things. Marking being the important factor here. You can mark individual pieces and then build out bigger behaviors. But ultimately, free shaping, giving as little emphasis as we can and allowing them to think through it is a lot of fun. We've got one more little handful here. Checking it out. Do, 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 do. Good boy. And that is it, folks up here again this is building more emphasis around just letting him eat his reward here um, it's that simple this is a fun little way to continue training and it's been fun to work with you buddy you're a smart little guy i hope you've enjoyed watching i hope you can apply this with your little puppy at home the guy with the pink gun this is trip oh my goodness i almost dropped you on your head and we will see you in his next video